This video is meant to show you the Lightorama Sequence Editor's custom tools. Before getting into exactly what the custom tools are, let's look at a few other tools that we've seen in other videos, at least maybe you've seen them in other videos, uh, such as the Twinkle tool, and the Shimmer tool, and uh, Set Intensity, that makes a 50% as bright as it can be right there. Fade Up, fading up from 0% to 100% intensity. And Fade Down, that fades down from 100% to 0%. And all of that's great, but you'll notice these uh, Twinkle and Shimmer, they're always at 100%. So what if we wanted to Twinkle at, 100, at 50% instead of 100%? Or if we wanted to Shimmer from 0% to 100% instead of at 100%. That's where the custom tools come in. So first let's uh, blank this out by using the off tool just to have a clean canvas. And now let's go to the custom tools, which is this button here. When I push the custom tools button, watch what happens to these five buttons to its right, which are currently grayed out. When I select that tool, they become ungrayed out. They become available for use. If I select another tool, they'll gray out again. Now let's go back to the custom tool and check out these five buttons here that it has enabled. If you'll notice, all of them have the little, the little star in the corner, indicating that they're related to the custom tool. And they all look like, ignoring the, the stars, they all look like other buttons. This one looks like the twinkle. The other one in that section looks like the shimmer and the three in this section look like set intensity, fade up, and fade down. And you can uh, think of these in two sections. The first one is these two buttons, and the next one is these two bu three buttons. And the two sections are independent of each other, so you can switch back and forth between these two without affecting this section at all, and you can switch back and forth between these three without affecting this section at all. So let's say I wanted to do a shimmering fade up, then that's all I have to do. Select these two buttons and click, and now I have a fade up that shimmers. Or I want a twinkling fade down. Or I want a twinkling set intensity. So the custom tool allows you to combine twinkling or shimmering with set intensity, fade up, or fade down. So let's uh, take a look at a little larger example and play it just to see what it'll look like on the channel buttons. So let's do a twinkling 50% um, intensity for a second and then we'll do a twinkling fade up for a second and let's do a shimmering fade down for a second. And let's play this and watch the channel buttons to see how they behave. So you'll see here it twinkled, but half as bright as it could. Then it went to 0%, but kept twinkling and k gradually got brighter. When it got to here, it started shimmering and then got dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Let's watch that one more time. And just to uh, compare, let's do the let's compare a, this twinkling 50% intensity to a regular twinkle. Oops, that's a regular shimmer. <laughs> Sorry about that. To a regular twinkle, and then back to 50% twinkle. And watch the channel buttons. So they were dimmer in this section, brighter in this section, and dimmer again in this section, but the whole time they were twinkling. Now, one more time, let's clean all of this out using the off tool, and then go back to the custom tools. And everything that I did before was always 50% intensity for set intensity, or 0 to 100 fade up, or 100 to 0 fade down. And that's all fine if that's what you want, but you can also use other intensities. The way that you do that is the same way you would do it for the regular set intensity 
fade up or fade down tools, which is to use these two buttons over here. So for example, for set intensity, so let's click on that guy, and it opens up this little dialog, which uh, gives you a choice of intensities. By default, it's 50%, so when I set intensity with a twinkle, it'll be a 50% intensity. I could set intensity to 30%, which you'll see it's dimmer, or I could set it to 70%. And let's play all of this to see it twinkling at 50%, at 30%, and then at 70%. So it's half as bright as it can be, then a little dimmer, then a little uh, brighter. And similarly, the um, fade up and fade down tools can be affected by this button over here. Uh, let's try a shimmering fade up, but instead of 0 to 100, which is currently selected, we'll do 50 to 75, or 25 to 75, or 25 to 50. Fade down is controlled by these options down here, so by default it's 100 to 0. Let's try 50 to 0, or 75 to 50. And just in the, the, uh, the case with the actual real set intensity fade up and fade down tools, you can use this edit button here to select any intensities that you want. If you're not satisfied with this selection of, you know, 0 to 25, 0 to 50, you actually want 8% uh, to 52%. You could do that with the edit button here. And there's a similar thing to, to do it in here. And that's all covered in uh, the video on set intensity and fade up and fade down. So uh, you could check that video out if you're, you want details on it. But uh, just wanted to mention here that it can be done for the custom tools as well. So that's about it for the custom tools. I hope this helps.